All right, guys, this is my current trailer. So this is video number one on the new trailer build. I'm going to go through what I want to change on the new trailer from this one as a, and my reasons for upgrading. So, yeah, let's let's get into it. All right, so behind me is a charging station that's staying just going to be uh, revamped but it's you know that definitely love that a couple things this trailer is 7 by 16 by 6 foot 8 interior height so very good size trailer i got 16 foot definitely made my money off of this Ooh, this trailer almost paid for itself which is delivery fees basically because of the 16 foot length i can get 16 foot materials in here because of the vinos all that good stuff so get yourself if my recommendation if you guys are on the on the fence about building a trailer getting a trailer buy it as big as you can handle like you can't you're like oh it's gonna be too big just you know <laughs> just get tandem axle don't get single axle you want those brakes much more sturdy when it's unhooked you you know it you know you don't want it to be a tripod all that kind of stuff so um you get two double axles more weight capacity just you know you're gonna want bigger not many people buy a huge tra you know buy a tool trailer and wish they would have went smaller most people wish they would have been bigger so I'll just keep that in mind uh so yeah seven by 16 this thing has been it's been great for me i'm just outgrowing it i've got a lot more tools i've got more things i'm taking care of even if i you know i stopped doing services but i still have more tools and it's not it's not really holding as much inventory as i want it to there's and it's not being as organized as i need it to yes i could definitely just strip this entire thing out and redo it rebuild a trailer uh, but then you know i'm out of trailer i'm redoing the existing one i've got to invest more money into the shell etc etc um, it makes more sense for me to buy a new trailer and then use this one to build that other one out. it will be more efficient. I could do it, you know, nights and weekends or whenever I feel like it. I can take my time, which I'm going to. And you guys will see, this is just the first video. Um, there'll be another one where I can, I'm designing it out. There's a bunch of things. I'm going to go a couple, I'll give you guys a tour of inside here. Why, what things are going to be upgraded, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're definitely going with the bigger. We're going to go 22, and a, 22 foot long, eight and a half foot wide, seven foot, seven foot four ish interior height. And then a walk-on roof. It's 12, 12 inch on center. We're gonna do it right this time. It's gonna be insulated walls. I haven't decided um, if I'm gonna I do the insulating or if I'm gonna have the the builder do the insulation. But I'm probably gonna lean towards me doing it, just because I want to be able to wire it the way I want to. All that kind of stuff. They can do the cabinets up front, stuff like that. It is gonna be a box square nose. We're not doing any v nose anymore just because it's not very good use of space for me i'd rather have the flat spot for additional stuff additional storage workstation and another thing is my outfit is going to be not all the way but uh, main pieces like this piece over here and what you guys are standing on over here it's all going to be on small casters so if i need to i can unbolt it from the walls and floor um, or unstrap it how i haven't decided how i'm going to fasten it and then i can wheel everything out and then use the trailer for you know bulk material um, if we're moving something huge, you know, like I can use it for an it's additional asset. So I can, you know, we can bring it to whatever we want to do, really. So, I mean, tailgating, we can put whatever we need to in it and then do what we want to. So, and then I can just roll and then also it makes it modular. So if I have, you know, if there's different jobs, or we're going to go on a different job site. I can, you know, roll this off. This, the, the charging station is going to be in the front because it's going to be wi hardwired into the trailer, obviously. So, but I can roll this section out, roll a different section in with more tools or whatever I need to, blah, blah, blah. We're good to go. So uh, that's the, that's the goal. That's, that's what I'm thinking. That might change going down the road, but I think uh, with a, with a nice ramp, um easy transition i can roll this stuff off if i need to save weight if i don't need you know whatever we're doing kind of thing and then bulk materials couches furniture honeydews all that good stuff so you know if we're bugging out all that good stuff, you know world ends we need to load it up with whatever we got we got to get out of dodge we can do that so yeah that's that's what i stand on this system there's a bunch more information i'm going to go with you guys but this is the first video let's give you a tour and then show you the outside and then wrap it up appreciate it so the walkthrough, <clears throat> you can see we, I have the Polk mains miter station up here, but I don't have the actual cradle and casters up here. I don't, they don't fit in the trailer. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know, I got my vacuum down here. It goes in the corner, but you can see, you know, we got plenty of stuff up here and, you know, I got multiple tools, multiples. Which is fine. It works out like some stuff like this. This this Milwaukee tool. I forget what he's. What's it even called? What's this even called? 
uh, drill driver, 3 8 So that's, what is that? That's 2505. I haven't even used that yet, but I bought it because it was on sale. And I also have, you know, whole hogs, tack saws, grinders. I've got a grinder there. I got a grinder down there. We've got another grinder up here just because they're different sizes. So, you know, it's, we we're kind of busting out the seams here and the V-nose doesn't make it any easier. Uh, battery banks underneath, charging station, all that good stuff. So, yeah, I could definitely, you know, revamp this and make it a little better for use of space, like down there. You know, that's where my trash can goes and, you know, other stuff. I do, you know, this tool cubby is definitely going to be staying as far as the new version of it. Now, the new version, what I'm thinking is have, like, all my, you know, all my tools up, you know, like, tool cubby up here for a tool or, you know, multiples. And then underneath it will have all the, you know, the, the blades that go with that tool, something like that. I haven't decided, you know, blades, grinders, you know, wheels, all that kind of stuff right underneath it so I can see, grab what I need to. Um, no drawers. I know some guys have drawers for tools and stuff, but, you know, opening a drawer, grabbing the tool, then either grabbing another, you know, tool or blades or whatever, and then closing the drawer. This way it's right out in the open and I can just grab it grab the blade and keep walking no need to open you know less less movements less you know repetitive opening of drawers the better so you can see i have multiple oscillating tools all that kind of stuff so and you can see this is kind of what i'm talking about you know i have all the blades and stuff in here maybe have a little more organized but right there right next to it that way i can grab stuff and that's what i've been using them for and you know i have a couple spots over here with miscellaneous stuff that's not going to change i'm going to have miscellaneous you know shelving in drawers just because you know the one-off tools and all that kind of stuff not getting rid of any of the small part storage that's that's for sure that's gonna i'll redesign it but it's gonna have like a full shelf just kind of like how i have it here full shelf down same thing with those i mean they're just that they you know you have to have parts and that's the whole point organizing you know mesa most of it's organizing so i can keep all my drop cloths in one spot you know wrapped up maybe even organized by size it'd be great and i did um you know more materials the main thing with the new trailer is going to have materials i'm going to have more materials on with me at all times that way no matter what no matter what i can get the job done if i if i need to and i could or i have some sort of material that's a compromise just to make me not have to go back to the hardware store so on this side obviously eight foot those drawers are going to stay um definitely gonna have better ladder storage inside so this is a six footer which is fine but it does make it getting to the small parts uh, a little little difficult for sure so better ladder storage i want a six foot and i'll probably have my four foot in here dedicated storage the side door is going to instead of being like a 30 i think it's a 32 inch it's going to be a 36 inch maybe even bigger um and i will still keep my you know all my squares and everything on the back end of it. that's a really good that's a good idea i i definitely like that idea but um definitely gonna have the the piano hinge all the way down just for weight uh, i can keep it and uh, definitely side doors definitely going to stay. I know there's a couple guys out there that don't have side doors in their trailers, including Ron Polk. But for me, it's absolutely, I use the side door 80% more, you know, eight, eight out of 10 times I'm going in the trailers through the side door. And then the ramp is only dropped down when I'm, you know, doing videos, doing bigger stuff in and out all day kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, so, you guys can see, you know, I, you know better storage, better, more organization. Yeah, this is way better than what I had prior give it you know that being given it can be a lot better and battery storage i want better battery storage this is nice it's a little unorganized but you know milwaukee dewalt makita or makita dewalt milwaukee and then miscellaneous up there i don't even know what's up there but uh what do we got oh more more lights and stuff for the trailer so what else is up here just random stuff so charging station i'm going to keep it pretty much as is maybe a few more makitas but uh you know i yeah that's a bigger one something taller since i have a taller trailer coming just a bigger uh you know more more charging a little you know this is going to be all hidden i'm going to have it you know less wires showing more thought out and then i do absolutely love my track saw track storage so this is going to stay i'll probably have it all condensed into one so that you know the long one um on the top and then it's going to go with the 48 and then the 30 inch one right there so it's going to be easier uh that's it's going to be on the ceiling as well i can get to it uh that's a good way to keep those long tracks out and i'm gonna have long long storage too so coming to the back 
On this side, yeah, I still like the drawers, uh, demo tools, all that kind of stuff, levels. But since we're gonna have an extra foot and a half of space, I am probably gonna bring it out so I can actually have sheet storage in here too. Uh, that's just gonna help out as well. And this side is gonna be uh, cleaned up. I do like my, you know, my my magnets. That really helps out with bit storage. And then all this stuff is probably gonna be either kept into a, the heated locker or if I haven't decided if I'm gonna actually heat the entire trailer all the time, keep it at around 50 degrees. So, so that's what the inside the trailer looks like right now. You know, we're, we are overstocked. We got a lot of stuff here, but we definitely have way, lots of room for improvement for sure. All right, on the outside of the trailer, guys, like I already said, aluminum is a must. These are 3,500 pound axles. We're gonna go with at a minimum, I think 6,000 pounds. And hopefully I'm trying, I'm trying to get them to put 7,000 pound axles on them and uh, torsion suspension. The uh, ladder racks, these were just built, you know, half to market, not from, you can see that one's bent a little bit. So we're gonna have basically welded together all of them. And since it's gonna be, it's just gonna be a walk-on roof, we're gonna have a bunch of space up there for ladders, scaffolding, whatever I need to. It's just gonna be a utility area. The, and the uh, solar panel is gonna be mounted underneath. If I decide to do them, they're gonna be underneath the ladder racks and they'll, they'll have like a racking system where I can, you know, crank it and then they basically deploy. And then, you know, from there, underneath there, they're just gonna move out so they can actually catch some rays. So that's my, that's my idea for those. If I want to, like I said, if I wanted to, you know, do that down the road, but that's, and these are gonna be, you know, all of them spread out a little bit. And since I have a, you know, eight and a half foot wide trailer, I can, you know, clock those 90 degrees and we will be fine. So, and uh, yeah, that's the way I can keep, because right now that, that's ladder, that's rack space I can't use. Not that I really need it right now, but it's, I can't use it. So uh, coming to the side, we're gonna have more lights, uh, fenders. I want double broach fenders in case I need to stand on them. That way I can get, I might, I'm, thinking about doing a side ladder or a front ladder on the tongue just haven't decided yet but obviously the tongue we're gonna not gonna we're gonna do away with the v nose so that's 16 foot so you got to add so that's the other two foot and then four foot so about right here is where the the trailer is going to stop and then you're going to have uh, probably six foot of uh nose so that's a pretty long trailer but i you know with my logos and everything i can have a side side ladder and maybe even um have my tongue hold the generator itself so that you know the tongue is going to where the generator's at and maybe even have a nose ladder too so two access points i haven't decided but that might be good because i don't need the entire um rolling billboard side for my logo or anything that's you know i can you can still you know it's still it's still a way of access to get up to the trailer and get up to where I need to. Though, you know, the ladder's gotta be, if the ladder's here, then I can't have any, you know, I'm gonna have a solar panel to the right of it to coming out, because it can't obviously interfere with that. So, outside-wise, uh, aluminum's are definitely a must. That's, that's not negotiable, it's gonna be aluminum, and we're gonna have, you know, battery banks and all that stuff, and no V-nos, no more V-nos. So, yep. All right, guys, that is the video one of the trailer build. This is what we're, what's wrong, what I'm changing from this trailer. Yeah, it's great. Love it. Uh, we're going to, this is, there's definitely room for improvement. And uh, I can already see the efficiencies and stuff uh, kind of wearing on me. You know, busting my knuckle trying to get a tool out that was jammed in with about five more tools right next to it. And we're just kind of busting at the seams here, rocking around 6,300 pounds as you see it now. So we're right at the threshold of the, the capacity of this trailer. So it's been held, holding up good, no problems with it. It hasn't broken down, you know, just changing spare tires, some leaf springs here and there. It is what it is, that's, that's basic maintenance. So not complaining at all, just it's time to, you know, it's time to upgrade. That's exactly, like I said before, you know, don't, don't upgrade or don't buy a new tool until you can't afford not to, or you just can't stand it. And I'm getting, to, I'm getting to that point. So, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically where we stand with this. There's going to be more, way more videos to come. I'm going to get SketchUp going so I can design it out, do this one time, be done with it. And you guys will see the new trailer once it's built. It's not built yet. I am set to order it, but it's, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be there for 2023. So appreciate it. See you guys later.